Michigan was once a trailblazer in K-12 and higher education, but the state's economic decline has resulted in consistent cuts for schools. Sam Singh, 69th District State Representative, says Governor Snyder is considering investing millions into early childhood education. We are hearing uh, rumors that the governor is going to actually put $50 million into early childhood in this budget, and that's something I'm going to be looking uh, for. The government spends about $108 million a year on early childhood education. But with 30,000 eligible preschoolers in the United States, there just isn't enough funding to go around. My question will be to the governor and to uh, his advisors. This is a good first step, but what are we planning to do over the next few years? Because if we're only at 25% or a third of where we should be, to me that's failing. Lorraine Friedel, founder of Stepping Stones Montessori School in East Lansing, says when it comes to education, starting early helps students transition into elementary school. They can come in and feed into our school because when they do, it's just that they're very secure, they, um, they fit in, they want to be, they're very, very social, and um, they do very well here. Friedel also says investing in children is worth it because their minds are very impressionable at such young ages. If you say a word, it sticks with them. So language is very important that we use with children. Singh is committed to bringing more resources to Michigan for early education. How do we help make sure that there's resources for people to go to nursery school? How do we make sure that there are uh, different programs for young people? In East Lansing, I'm Madeline Fetchett for Home TV.